David, well, strong start to your European clay court season, quarter-final and semi-final appearances. What's been the key to this recent form, do you think? Yeah, I think I had a good preparation on clay just before uh, Monte Carlo. So it was uh, yeah, the key to have a good preparation um, just to be ready for the, for the clay season tournaments. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's a surface that I like. I'm, I'm moving well on clay and, uh, um, and now I had some matches in Monte Carlo. So I played much better in Barcelona also. So now I'm, I'm feeling much better and I have some matches. So it's good for the confidence. You obviously had that injury scare with your eye earlier in the year. Explain how tough that has been for you at the start of this year and, and how is the, the vision now? Yeah, the vision is perfect now. Uh, of course, it took uh, yeah almost uh, two months to be uh, 100%. Yeah, I tried uh, in Miami to come back, but it was a little bit uh, too early. You know, with the sun, with the shades, it was not easy for me to, be, uh, to see the ball uh, like before, but now I'm... Um, Really happy uh, that I'm full recovered. I have no problem anymore, no injuries. So uh, now, just gonna enjoy and to, to be fit on the court. Yeah, I mean, it came at a frustrating time because you had been playing so well, certainly the last season or so. I mean, what are now the next targets? You got back into the top ten. What are you aiming for next? Um, we will see. I just want to be uh, um, to to play my best tennis in big, biggest tournaments. Uh, I think. Now uh, two Masters 1000 are coming and then the French Open and then also the grass season that I didn't play last year. So it's uh, an important period for me in Europe, tournament that I like, the conditions that I know really well. So it's, uh, I'm just going to take uh, match after match and then we will see if I'm, uh, if I'm playing well. I think um, I have some uh, good chances to win some matches, but, uh, but we will see. I'm, I have no... I don't put any more pressure on my shoulder, so I'm just focused on what I have to do, and that's it. And now you've reached this sort of top 10 sort of regularity. Uh, just explain how difficult it is to sort of maintain those levels, to keep yourself at the top of the sport. Yeah, you know, to, uh, to stay in the top 10, you have to uh, be uh, really consistent, and uh, every big tournament, you have to be there, you have to play good tennis, and uh, as soon as you are, um, Injured or you you don't play well you you just uh, just lose your ranking and you go you drop off the, the the top ten so that's that's normal it's tough to stay there but uh, yeah I'm, I'm fighting to uh, every day to uh, to play my best tennis and that's the case for the moment on clay so uh, just want to keep going like that. You were a quarter finalist here in in uh, Madrid last year. How much do you enjoy the conditions out here in in the, in the, in the Caja Magica? Yeah, it's uh, such a nice tournament with a lot of great courts. The, um, the, um, the courts are really nice, but the clay is perfect. Um, the conditions is a little bit different because it's a little bit of altitude here, but the ball is um, it's going really fast from the racket, so it's, um, it helped me a lot to, uh, to play a little bit faster. And, but I played well last year, I had some good memories, even if I lost against Rafa, tough matches in quarterfinal. I played well, so hopefully I can play the, another good tournament here and a good tennis.